Hi, welcome, and this is the historical significance behind the Great Gatsby. Before the World War I, foreigners invested $3,000 million more than Americans invested in other countries. But after the war, it was the opposite. The Americans invested $3,000 million more than any other country did to America. Increasing foreign investment not only increased America's economy, but also increased the quality of goods and services produced in America, which also led to more consumers. America was able to rapidly grow their economy because other allied nations suffered greater losses of properties and population than the United States during the World War I. And for that reason, America was able to be their allied financially. Some European nations were in debt, while America was receiving the paybacks and also growing their economy, which made America greater economy power and world power in the world in that time period. With a sudden change in economic incomes, society underwent a great change as well. While it is true that America became a buzzing nation fueled by consumerism and freedom, many did not experience it. Women started to become more liberal and more integrated in society. The rise of the flapper and the increasing commonality of smoking in women symbolize this. Characters like Daisy are perfect examples of the flapper, fashionable young women who drank, smoked, drove cars, and enjoyed life in much the same way that the men did. Flappers like Daisy broke traditional standards of beauty and redefined what was ladylike. However, this grand improvement occurred only for the upper middle class and the extremely wealthy. Poor families remained more conservative and thus patriarchal. The suffrage movement, which acted to gain equal rights for women, became popular in this period, and so more and more women had an improved livelihood. Racial tensions were still high, as shown by the popularity of the Ku Klux Klan, of which 5% of the American population were members at the time. American societies were still physically fragmented. Generally, black people remained poor, so they would not have frequented or lived in the same places as the white folks. Nick was surprised when he saw three blacks in a limo driven by a white person, suggesting how racist society was because no one would expect black people to be wealthy. These racist ideals were also shown by Tom when he said that whites had to control the other lesser races before things got out of control. The 1920s was a time of cultural change and urban culture became a symbol for that decade. The Great Gatsby represents the urban culture of the 1920s to representing prosperity, leisure, technological advances, and the loss of moral development. As prosperity grew, money was spent on new inventions such as cars, radios, and telephones. With new technology, radios were widely used among the houses in America for music and advertisement. It was also used to broadcast sports, which developed the popularity of baseball, boxing, and golf. The 1920s has also been called the Jazz Age, where freedom expanded. As freedom expanded, the manufacture and sale of liquors were banned after 12 a.m., and in 1920, taverns and bars were closed. It was illegal to sell any beverages with more than 0.5%. This caused people to see illegal liquid trade the bottle layers. Education was another important factor in the 1920s. As the opportunity for new jobs opened for many people in America, the number of students attending high school doubled. Many schools started to offer students with new subjects to prepare them for useful jobs. As aspects of life were changing, Americans became less organized to religions. Instead of attending church services, Americans spent more time on riding automobiles or watching movies. Hobbies such as cross war to dancing became popular and teenagers would be partying all day. The jazz music in post-World War I era, originated by African Americans, was brought to the surface of society, culturally characterizing the Roaring Twenties. In fact, its musical elements significantly reflect the societal belief of the people in the Great Gatsby. For example, jazz performance contains contains vast variety of instruments and feature a fast tempo, which illustrates character's desire to attain excessive quantity on physical items, in other words, luxury, in a very short amount of time. 
A handful of references regarding to this type of music can be found in the novel. In describing the fancy party of Gatsby, Oliver Fitzgerald mentioned a notorious contralto had sung in music, in jazz, in page 46. And by seven o'clock, the orchestra has arrived. No thin five-piece affair, but a whole pitful of oboes and trombones and saxophones and viols and cornets and piccolos and lows and high drums. Now the orchestra is playing yellow cocktail music. In page 40. This again shows the strong tie between jazz and the obsession with wealth. Moreover, a sense of socio-economic deficiency is also emphasized from jazz allusions, mentioning Beatles Street's blues in page 151. For Daisy was young and her artificial world was redolent of orchids and pleasant, sh- cheerful snobbery and orchestras which set the rhythm of the ear. Summing up the sadness and wail, the helpless comments of Beale Street Blues shows that prosperity was merely artificial and embodied exclusively by the upper class, since this jazz music is only written and sung by whites, and its lyrics satirize the violence and poverty of poverty of those in the bottom of the hierarchy. Through the backstory of the Great Gatsby, we discover the golden era of celebration, the Roaring Twenties. Through context, we understand and could even perhaps relate to the characters better. Seldom will you truly connect to a story unless you are in the moment, as are the characters. So, the next time you read a book, consider the historical significance behind it, because only then are you truly a part of the story. Thank you for watching.